people feel what I'm trying to say. Come on. You know that there are people feel it. Is it that low, brother? Thank you. 
Keep your vision on that mountain, on that trouble. That's as far as you're going to go. Yeah. Uh, when you get your eyes in the paper, uh, the Bible said we don't walk by sight. Uh, yeah. We walk by faith. Uh, and we walk by sight and we stay home. Uh, but we walk by faith. Uh, and faith will move that mountain. Yeah. Faith will cause you to talk to the devil. Faith will cause you to be an overcomer. Yeah. Faith will make you a child of God. Yeah. When he put the Holy Ghost inside of us, Brother Mike, he put, he put peace in there. He put power in there. He said, after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, then you're going to receive some power. I'm going to see God move more than I've ever saw in my life. We're going to see this. We don't have time to sit down and mess and play with the devil. Playing church is over. Amen. Talking to Brother Paul. I never played church, but I'm going to tell you it's time to get a hold of the altar at home at church. Let the altar be in your spirit. That's a place you pray and meet God. Can you hear me? That's a place you get hungry, Lord. Give me a burden for the lost. Give me a burden, Lord, for that and that the street is lost. Give me a burden, Lord, for that and that in the trailer court is lost. Give me a burden for that living under the bridge, Lord. Put a fire. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm still growing in this thing. Yes, 
if you bring you birth to happen inside of you, that old man dies. That old man can't live where the Spirit of God dwells. Two spirits can't live in the same house. If you get the Holy Ghost, the old man moved out. He's out now. The old man's dead. I feel Jesus. You may say, I don't understand all about it. All you got to need to understand is, Lord, I'm thirsty. Give me a drink, Jesus. I'm hungry, Lord, quick. And honey, he'll show you the rest. He'll give you understanding of the fullness. He'll give you understanding of things you don't know. Amen. I Lord, I feel the Holy Ghost. Come down that bank into the water. Tell me God's dead if you want to. I'll tell you how crazy you look. I don't believe that Holy Ghost stuff, Brother Paul. That's still okay to work off. I told this several times through my ministry. Probably been 35, 30 years ago. Used to do construction work. Work for this fella. Big old boy. He's close seven foot tall. Super guy to work for. Been laying a lot of brick for him to come out. One day, Brother Jim, he said, Brother Paul, I want to ask you something. What do you think about this holy rolling bus? Talking in some kind of tongue. I just stood down as I could for the mic and I just said, he finished his course. He said, I don't see that stuff. What do you think about it? I looked up and I said, I've had it for about 10 years.
Do you know what they're looking for? They're looking for something. Yeah, that's right. They need it out of the pills. They ain't getting it out of the bottles. They ain't getting it out of the drugs. They ain't getting it out of the big parties. Wake up the next morning and hang off your head about to blow off. They ain't getting it out of that. Trying to have a pain searching. But there's one spot in that heart. There's a void place in that heart. Church, I feel this. That only God can feel. So that soul will feel completed and free. From the powers of hell in this sinful world we're living in. He didn't know what the people were pulling the brains out. He didn't know what the shit the Christian people said. I'm just going to eat it all. Got nothing to live for. Jesus died for them too. Is that the word? I said, oh man. It's many years ago I was preaching. Then at Millstone, Brother Raymond's when he was here. About halfway through the message, I saw a vision. I saw a young man in the graveyard with a pistol. Stuck to his head like this right here. And the hammer was back. I said, Jack, pray. As a young man about to commit suicide. The next day I saw him. I told him all about the time we was having service and I was preaching. I said, did you go to your daddy's grave and put a pistol in your head like this? He was crying. He said, yeah, Brother Paul said, I tried to kill myself, but this son won't let me pull that trigger. He called my mouth shot by my higher. I know exactly what it was. An angel was there in that grave. That young man couldn't be in his life. He'd be in hell right now, but thank God he died for the Holy Ghost and working in church. See, that you don't mind just sitting on the pressure and vexing the power of the devil. Yeah, exactly. You begin to listen to the words that come to your mind. Yeah. And if you carry them words out for the mic, many people out there ain't stout or strong, they never raised in this Jesus way. Many out there. I'm just going to need to Get out of it all. No, you ain't getting out of it all. If you kill yourself, you'll go straight to hell quick you pull that trigger. Hell is going to be all so hot. Hell is going to be all so hot. It'll be a place that you won't call home. This is why we're going to keep coming to church, living my prayer life, doing the Oh, so hot. Hallelujah. God's going to, I'm telling you that God's truth before this summer's over. It's going to people come to this door, to this church, and say, My God, I will never dream that fellow would be here. I would have never dreamed a million years that she's sitting here raising her hands. Praise the God. Honey, that God gets ready. Hell my swear to back out of the way. Because greater in us than he that's not true in the world. You may say, by the party you really been that honey, I know it's a fact. I saw it up over 45 plus years. I saw it operate. I saw the liberty. I saw healing. I saw people laughing at them. Not because of all. But when he sees the blood and sees Jesus oh, inside, yes. Amen. he's going back out quick, brother. Right. He says, well, we got to keep on straight, straight, church. I'm telling you, so I try to hurt if I can. Oh, yeah. we got a well inside of us. Let somebody see that spring bubble out here up here in the store somewhere. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yeah. But Paul's going to make his sense. I'm starting to witness more than I ever have. See people there that can't hardly get to the store. Can't hardly walk. Most of the church people just sit in the car and run. That's their problem. No, it's my problem if I'm a child of God. I'm supposed to be a witness. I'm supposed to be a lot like a city sit over here. I'm going to shut up and say, God is real. I'm a 
devil wants to remind you. And God allows the devil to attack our minds. These fiery darts of the wicked. Put out a hold on our salvation. Yet you may ever understand all the lies of the devil at the same time. Now feel Jesus. I want that devil when he looks at me, he sees the blood and the Holy Ghost.
Jesus comes.